talk of the town with the restless scum. Don't shoot broad out or fool him around. Keep the vomits and run, boy. Keeps the vomits and run. Lesson five, da, Johnny. Hey guys, I can't believe it, he's finally here. Welcome to my Gyro Sapelli review. I just have to say that when I got him, I was actually blown away by the colors. It looks so much better in real life than on the pictures. If you've ordered one, you're in for a big treat. That being said, let's go over what you get in the Gyro Sapelli 1.5 package. You get the following. Four steel balls, four pairs of hands, a satchel, two heads, one that is screaming, and the other is just a normal face. An effect item that makes it look like he's throwing. And a stand to hold him up, like always on these SAS figures. And the things that are on him is the following. His hat, and two pockets for the steel balls. And lastly, a three-piece cape that you can take on and off, as well as bend as you please. Let's go over the amount of movement you can do with him. He bends fairly easily, but ironically his arms are the most limited. You have to kind of turn his arm upside down uh, and twist it to make it look like he's throwing, but it works fair enough. He can sit normally and his legs bend back just as far as Johnny, so I'm very happy with that. His head is also tilted a bit downwards and you can't move it that far but on most of his iconic poses, he's looking down anyway, so his neck is also a stick joint, so it's easy to get his head on and off. I also noticed that his cape shoulders are not actually where they should be, and it seems like every gyro 1.5 is shipped like this. But you can fix it by hair drying them and then molding them back to sit on the right place. I don't have a hair dryer right now, so I'll be sure to bring it to my sister next time I visit. Moving over to the paint job, we can see that the shading is a lot better. And as well as the face that they remade, it's just an overall improvement. And I'm super happy with how it looks. So let's go over the features. As I mentioned earlier, you get two pockets for the steel balls. It's really easy to put them in there, and it almost feels like squeezing a BB into an airsoft magazine. Since you get four steel balls, you can have two in the pockets and two in the hands. A few of his hands actually come with stick joints, and you can attach the ball onto the stick joint. Also, if you want to use the throw effect, you can take off one of the hands and put the effect between the hand and the wrist. Just slide it onto the stick joint and the hand will lock in place. So all in all, this figure is absolutely amazing. I also hope that they release the ball breaker stand at some point. Now I'm gonna go over the negatives of this figure. So coming in at number one, his cape shoulders. It goes without saying that this is the biggest negative with the figure. It's just an annoying little problem, but thankfully it's entirely fixable. And number two. His arms are pretty limited compared to Johnny, but with the right rotation, no pun intended, you can get it to look somewhat decent. So that's it for the negatives. Uh, I think I'll give this figure a score of 9 Uras out of 10. And it would have been a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't for the arm range. Anyways, I hope you liked the video, there's a lot more figures coming, and other JoJo related videos, so subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching, and bye!